Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we are going to see about metagenomics. Metagenomics is the genomic analysis of microbial communities by direct extraction and sequencing or cloning of their DNA that allows studying communities of organism directly in their natural environment. What is metagenome? Microbial life exists in almost every environment from the most familiar environment such as garden soil, the leaves of green plant as well as their roots or pipe underneath our sink. These microbial habitats also include environment considered hard to survive due to the extreme conditions. For example, at the bottom of the sea, in the arctic ice or in the salt deserts. Microbes also populate our own body and life for example on our skin or inside the gut. Almost every environment on earth is colonized by different types of microorganisms. Metagenome consists of the genome of many individual microorganisms present in environmental sample. We study the metagenome because most microorganisms can't grow in pure culture and culturing can never capture the full spectrum of microbial diversity. Metagenomics provides the culture independent information about environmental microorganisms. First step is the isolation of metagenomic DNA from a sample of defined environment that encompasses a genome of entire microbial population. The resulting metagenomic DNA can be analyzed by two different approaches. First one is functional metagenomics to search for specific enzymatic activities or proteins. Second one is metagenomic sequencing to study microbial and functional diversity. I am going to take a soil as environmental sample. First the DNA is extracted using DNA extraction kit. Popularly used DNA extraction kit for soil is power soil DNA extraction kit. First add 0.25 gram soil to power bit tubes using a weighing funnel. We will make this process easier. Gently vertex to mix. Add 60 microliter of solution C1 to the tube and invert several times or vertex briefly to mix. Vertex at the maximum speed for 10 minutes followed by a centrifugation. Transfer the supernatant to a clean 2ml tube. Supernatant may still contain some soil particles, carry over the soil or a dark particle color in the mixture. Normal at these steps, add 250 microliter of solution C2 and wet it for 5 seconds, incubated at 4 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, followed by centrifugation, avoiding the pellet transfer up to but no more than 600 microliters of supernatant to a clean 2 ml collection tube. Add 200 microliter of solution C3 and vertex briefly and incubated at 4 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes followed by centrifugation. Transfer the supernatant into a clean milk collection tube. Shake the solution 4 before use. Add 200 microliter of solution C4 to the supernatant and vertex for 5 seconds. Load approximately 675 microliter onto a spin filter and centrifuge at 10,000 rpm for 1 minute. Discard the flow through. Add 500 microliter of solution C5 and centrifuge. Discard the flow through and centrifuge to remove residual C5 and place spin filter in a clean 2 ml collection tube. Add 100 microliter of solution C6 to the white filter membrane and centrifuge to elute the DNA. Library preparation for Illumina sequencing platforms requires input of defined length. Therefore, fragmentation of DNA or the use of cDNA prepared RNA is the starting point. This is followed by n repair to generate blunt-ended phosphorylated molecules followed by the addition of non-templated DAMP dial before ligation to an adapter. If necessary to achieve sufficient yields, the final step is PCR amplification of the library. Next step is Illumina sequencing. The current availability of vast arrays of NGS machines with a different throughput makes metagenomic analysis feasible for a large range of research groups and application. A good example is the Illumina sequencing. Offers low instrument 
run cost in return for a reduced throughput making this device attractive even for a small laboratories as a result the number and diversity of sequencing project have rise first step is adapters are annealed to the end of the sequence fragment fragments binds to the primer loaded flow cells and bridge pcr reaction amplify each bound fragments to produce the clusters of fragments during each sequencing cycles one fluorophore attached nucleotide is added to the growing strands laser produce fluorophores in the all the fragments that are being sequenced and the optic scanner collects the signals from each fragment clusters next step is assembly pipeline assembly involves the merging of reads from same genome into a single contig most available tools build up on a traditional deep region crap approach to genome assembly assembly steps first sequence reads are filtered using digital normalization and remove the redundant reads then assemble the reads the assembled reads are known as contigs the contigs are classified using kmer and coverage last step is contig binding binding is the process of grouping reads or contigs into individual genomes and assigning the group into specific species subspecies or genus the following information obtained during soil metagenomic studies identification of novel metabolite medicines antibiotics taxonomic classification phylogeny interaction of host and microbes hotspots quantification microbial diversity viral bacterial fungal discovery disease life cycle soil bond disease control ncbi is mandated to store all the metagenomic data the sheer volume of data being generated means there is an urgent need for appropriate ways of storing vast amount of sequences tools such as img mer camera mg rast and ebi metagenomics provides a integrated environment for analysis management storage sharing of metagenomic project thank you for watching this video